Hey guys, what's up? Stark here. And today I'm going to go over a sort of Photoshop thing, but it's, I haven't really seen it in After Effects. So I'm going to show it here, which is frequency separation. So what frequency separation is typically used for is to even out skin tones. Okay. Now here's a before and after. And as you can see, what's happening is it's not removing the texture from this woman's face. That is not what it's doing. That's not the purpose. To do that, you would go in and paint that out first, okay? So this is more of a more subtle thing to, again, even out skin tone, all right? Now, it's super simple to do, and let's just do this before and after. You get a lot of control over it, but essentially what we're doing is we're going to rebuild the, the image that you see, okay? And then we'll get more control over it, and you could do all of the areas. But I'm just going to focus on this part. Now, I just want to point out there is nothing wrong with her skin. Her skin is completely normal. I would say that it's just because the lighting is harsh. As you can see, it's just this, it looks like it's directional. So nothing on this one. She's beautiful. Everything's fine. Okay, so let's just go ahead and rebuild everything. So I'm just going to delete this. And delete that and then I have these comps in here and we'll just call it I have this one called the face okay so this is just the flat out footage and I'm just going to duplicate it all right so first thing is first that we want to do before we rebuild it just to get things done is let's track the areas that we want to you know even out which would be her cheek so I'm going to go ahead and go to animation and then track in Mocha, okay? And then I'm just gonna press play to cache the, there we go. She smiles and then frowns. Let's go to like right here, okay? And then we're just gonna, you know, I'll do two. We'll do on her forehead and then up here. And then, so we'll go here. Call this guy cheek. So it's like 75, and then I'm gonna hit perspective. Now I'm starting from the middle because it's the area of the most information. So we'll track back, track forward. There we go. Now I want to do this area up here because you can see it's sort of blemished, like the skin tone color is not completely even. So and just create a spline maybe. Ah, go for broke, let's just do this general area here. We'll call this brow. And then same settings as before. Awesome, just gonna lock it, save. Exit, now it's in there. So we'll come back to that. So now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna actually bring down the face here. I could duplicate this, but I don't wanna mess with the mocha thing. So it's just superstitious. Now we're gonna call this blur, okay? Now what we're gonna do is, first thing is, we're gonna do a fast box blur, okay? Now this is gonna be the area where uh, it's it's the skin tone, okay? So we're separating it out. That's why it's called frequency separation. And essentially what we're doing is we're going to separate out the, you can look at it as the color, the tone, and then we're going to separate out the, the high pass. So we're essentially making a high pass filter or the high frequencies, which will be the texture, okay? So look at it as like the other tutorial with the subtraction. You have the... The areas of high frequency, so like it sounds, so the higher noise, okay, higher noise like the texture, and then the lower noise, which is the general color, so the overall look, as you could, I would say, okay. So just turn this up to like nine, okay. So you could see that what it's doing is it's getting the general color, right? And we'll repeat the edge pixels. Cool. So now we're gonna call this one texture, all right. Now this is the one where we're gonna make, essentially we're gonna build a high pass filter. And you'll see what I'm saying, especially taking out the the high 
frequencies. It's not gonna be super noticeable until we blend these. So let's go in and we're just gonna do a CC composite. All right, we wanna keep this in front. We're gonna drop down the opacity to 50%. All right, now here's the cool thing is this is separate from this. So it is not dropping the opacity of this actual layer. It's sort of, I don't know, duplicating the layer within itself and dropping its opacity that way. So you could look at it that way. Okay, so now what we have to do is we're gonna do an invert. Oh, we're gonna do this. We're doing it backwards essentially, so we could just bring this down, okay? There's nothing there, which is fine. And then we are going to go ahead and do a fast box, fast box blur on this guy. Okay, and then you'll start to see as we go up, you'll start seeing the higher frequencies, the texture coming through. Now we don't need this thing high like at all. I would say just enough that it's like just popping through, okay? Now, here's the cool part. We're gonna go to linear light. All right, and let me turn this on, okay? Now we have our, oh, sorry, repeat edge pixel, so you're gonna get that problem. So now we just rebuilt the image essentially, okay? So let's go down to, face and then I'm going to turn off the top two. Okay, so you can see there's oh, essentially no difference. All right. So now what we could do is we will make another layer, a new adjustment layer, and we'll call this hmm, blurrier one and I'm going to do a blurrier two. So we'll call that guy, this will be the, the cheek. So now we're gonna go here to the mocha thing and we're gonna go to matte and then just do create AE masks. It's gonna make it on this layer. So you have both of them, okay? So I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna copy this because essentially we're just using this thing to copy it to things. So we'll go to the first frame, okay? And just so you know that it's doing something, we'll do a hue saturation. Awesome. Now we'll repeat it for the brow. I should actually call this cheek blur, brow blur. And the reason why is because we want these guys to have separate uh, settings, you know? We don't want it to all be completely the same. Now, as you can see, if I turn this off, it's that so these are all important but everything below it is really i would keep it just so you have it but it's not super important to have on for comparison it is okay so let's just go to town so we'll go to the cheek and we'll just do a fast box blur i cannot say that fast box blur and then you'll start to see let me shut this guy off and i'm gonna have to soften the edge but you'll start to see as we go up if i go too high it's gonna just completely do it, but let's go up. You can see we're keeping the texture, all right? So something like there, and you can see that harsh edge. So hitting MF, and then we'll just feather it out to blend it in, all right? Now we'll we can repeat up here, fast box blur. Let me make sure, okay, that's on. So zero, maybe we'll go a little bit aggressive with this guy. And then MF. And then we will fit it. So there you go. Again, this is to even the skin tone out, which is exactly what we did up here, okay? And here, and we'll just do a comparison. And let's go down to I have so many face layers. But there you go. So we're not destroying the texture. And again, this is not a thing to blur the face. This is to give you a more natural retouch in motion. So if you want to get rid of that or these areas, let's see something. 
we could go in and turn it down. So even, let's do this actually. What we could do, let's just do it, why not? This isn't part of the tutorial, but hey, let's get some value out of it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just make a new layer, solid, and we'll change it to black. So this is the top, and then we're gonna do the cheek blur mask, and mask path, cheek soften, go up here, okay. Now, okay, so we have this in just the layer. It doesn't matter the color because we're just going to use a an alpha mat. Okay, so not Luma inverted. Oh yeah, actually. So you see how it's too, way too soft. Okay, well, let me just. I don't know where that came from. What we start doing is turning down the transparency. So I'm messing with it this way, and of course we're going to have to go in and feather it out, all right? Now here's the thing with this, all right? If we go too much, oops, sorry, not the mask. Let's go to the transparency, opacity, sorry. If you go too much, it's gonna look, like you can't have this thing where it's like, oh, wow, she has a plastic face. We don't want that. So we want it to just enough that it kind of just complements it. So like right there, just, just, just a little, you know, just a little bit of, mm. okay, so let's go ahead and let's just compare the before and after. All right, let me fit it. And there you go. So we have it evened out, softened. And there you go. So there are plugins to do this, but again, Control, that's what you want is control. And that's especially Mocha helps with that because you're basically doing spotted like the areas, right? So there you go. And when you retouch, the thing is you don't want to go so far that it's like creepy, like what you would see on Instagram. That's a no-no. You want natural looking, okay? So if you saw this, you would probably just, you wouldn't think twice. Okay, because it looks it looks natural. Not that this is bad, the original, but you could go and you could soften it. Especially if someone has like bags under their eyes, it'll just kind of it still looks realistic, but it doesn't, it's not insanely fake. It's not in that uncanny valley, and you're not gonna be like, ah, you know? So all right, guys, that's it. So that's frequency separation in After Effects. So now go ahead and go to town. So Later, guys.